diagnostic test kits. So uh, recently, we just completed uh, three different types of test kits for COVID-19. Okay, uh, we also have a uh, prototype, a dengue dot blood immunoassay, which we will be demonstrating later. Uh, originally, the plan was to demonstrate the actual uh, performance of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 antigen test. However, for biosecurity reasons, so we just uh, recorded the entire process. Uh, kasi ang hira po mag-open ng sample, no? Dun sa aming lab, no? Uh, so uh, what we will be demonstrating though is an actual performance of the dengue blood immunoassay that we had prototyped in the laboratory para makita niyo po yung actual na paggamit ng test kit. Right, no? Whether it be this in particular or other applications at that, no? uh, whether on the diagnostics or therapeutic side. No? Uh, so um, in the end, um, we're, we're certainly flexible in that. There are a lot of I don't know, things that can be done. It could be, it could be on the on human side. It could be on uh, livestock side, or and uh, a lot of what uh, Ray and his team are doing uh, is also hopefully robust in the sense that in terms of startup equipment or training of the people that will execute the test. Eh, ano, medyo I'm optimistic na ano. Kasi what, what we have seen is the one of our most successful ano, the Dr. Raul Destila. Ano yan, Biotech M. He started with just one product, eh, which is the dengue kit, from five days to one hour. Tapos ano na siya, uh, commercial na siya eh, ngayon. Tapos, sa kanya sinunod-sunod yung iba. Kailangan mo lang talaga makaisa. Tapos the rest will follow. When uh, SARS, well, COVID-19 broke, nag-text siya sa akin, sabi niya, we will develop the test kit in 30 days. Dito tapos nga talaga nila. Di matagal lang yung FDA approval eh. That took about five months or so. Pero, FDA approved na na yun yung kanyang product. 